Hi, Dresser Cuties, Wendy here. It's pun art time, and today I want you to know that I lava you. So let's get started. To draw this cute volcano, let's first start by drawing the top. So I'm going to come right here, and I'm just going to kind of wobble this curve. So right about here, and I'll bring it down, and come back up, and create this shape. Then from there, now that I have the top of my volcano, I'm basically just going to draw two angle lines down to create my mountain. So it's all up to you how uh, high you want to make your mountain. So about here or how wide. Just have fun with this. This is just meant to inspire you. So about right there and there. Let's bring it down a little bit more. And I just want to make it even on both sides. All right, there. Okay, so now that we have that, I'm going to come back up. So, well, actually, you know what? Let's draw the bottom first. Let's do this. So now that we have these two lines right here about the same level, I'm going to imagine drawing all these, uh, all this greenery at the bottom to create this scene. So. I'm going to give myself enough space, so about right here, I'm just going to say about right here. I'm just going to go ahead and draw a straight line across for my base, so that it's just easier for me to put everything in. So if you end up having not enough space or too much space, you can always adjust. But I'm just going to go ahead and say about right there, I'm just going to draw a line all the way across. Okay, so something like that. And then from there, I can go ahead and draw all of my bushes and trees. So I'll come about right here, and I'm just going to start with one big shape. So nice big curves sometimes, smaller curves. I'm just going to use this space to create this one big one. So as you can see, I'm just creating this random shape that comes down and before I finish that maybe I can come in here and wobble some big boulders and rocks and tuck this in maybe another little rock right here or whatever you like to put and then you can come back here maybe some lower bushes and tree line up. I really hope you have fun with this coloring, especially. And then up by here. And bring it down, just like the other side. There. So you've created this beautiful scenery. You know, let's pop this out a little bit more so that our mountain can just come in there. And then whatever space I have left, I'll just go ahead and finish that. Then for some more details, let's see here, I can add some more rocks. Or like I said, whatever you can come up with. And we can even add some palm trees if you like. So maybe I'll stick one here. A little curve. And then we're just going to draw four of these prawn leaves here. Two and four. Make it a lot easier. We can pop one up here. So same thing. Two, three, four. And definitely need one on this side. So I'll stick one right here. And once again, two, three and four <laughs> there and I think it needs some stuff behind this so let's come back over here maybe some darker greenery towards the back maybe have it crawl up the mountain a little bit more there okay so now that we have this all done at the bottom right here we can go ahead and I just want to leave enough room for some Jurassic Cute Eyes. So let's create our lava. So about right here, which is what this is all about, right? I'm going to come in here and just draw some drizzle. So nice and round and up and down. 
sometimes higher, sometimes lower, just to break it up and then round it off there. And then from there, let's draw, because this is a pun, a sweet pun art. We don't want like a big blowing up bouquet, you know? So I'm just gonna put in some of these uh, drops coming out. So about right here. But it's all up to you, of course, if you want to draw like a big explosion, you can just go two straight lines and then a big cloud. Okay, so then one here, another one, a little bit higher, all coming from the center. And another one. And of course, I can't resist. I'm going to put a heart right here. Coming out. <laughs> okay, then from there, that is pretty much it. If you wanted to just draw a normal volcano, of course, without the heart, but today it's a draw so cute volcano that's saying, I lava you, right? So we definitely need to put in some draw so cute eyes. So I'm going to come about right here and just go ahead and draw two big circles and right across, about right here. And same thing. There. And let's make them draw so cute eyes with two small circles inside for highlights and a curved line at the bottom and shade in the top. And lines at the bottom. And same thing over here. Okay, and then from there, let's draw a soft curve over each eye. And of course, a sweet smile right in between. So about here and just go up a little bit and cap it off <laughs> there. And you know what? I'm going to come to the sides right here and just thicken this line up a little bit more to make it stronger. And same thing here. So last but not least, we have to draw the pun, right? So I'm going to come about right here and just draw a speech bubble coming out, if you like, and just draw a big oval shape. And we're going to say, I lava, L, A, making everything very wide, U. <laughs> There, and now I'll just come in here and thicken it all up to spruce it up. There, and that is pretty much it for my drawing of a volcano that's saying, I lava you. I really hope you love this cuties. And uh, remember, I do lava you very much. And thank you always for your support. If I helped you today and you made this fun and easy, please make sure to give me a like and subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.